Hi everybody and welcome to episode one of Project Sapphire. My name's Ben and I recently purchased this 1954 Armstrong Sidley Sapphire 346 with the intention of getting it back on the road for its 70th birthday by next year. Hasn't been on the road since 1975 when the original owner passed. So let's try and get it back there. Follow along to uh, see some behind the scenes footage. Cheers, chuck us a subscribe. Thanks very much. All right, so we've got the 1954 Armstrong Sidley. So when we purchased it, it conked out when the gentleman, the seller, he, you know, he revved it going downhill. He got it up to 100, 110, and it was going pretty good. Backfired, and um, it broke down on the side of the road, as you can see in the picture. Um, so Dad and I have got it apart. We've just been trying to diagnose what that could be. If it was backfiring and it was chugging pretty bad, um, it makes us think that it could be either a fuel issue or it could be a distributor issue, timing issue. So I pulled apart the carvies. They were pretty full of crap, um, as to be expected. Car sat for many, many years, since 1975. Um, we've got spark, which is good. And when we do fire it, it does, it wants to, but it wants to uh, bounce backwards, if that makes sense. We've got fuel coming to both bowls and is sitting at the three quarter mark, which is what we want it to be as indicated by the, the book. Um, and uh, we've taken the, the, the starter motor isn't very happy. So you can't really see down there, but the, um, we've got the starter motor off and the teeth are pretty good. And it does as, supposed to do it spirals down to engage and it's got the clutch up in there between the springs anyway we've got a gentleman coming to have a look at that and pull it apart whilst it's already out there is some metal shavings in in there at the drive you can't see anyway at the drive plate down there um then 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 we've moved over onto the distributor that's got some slop in it took that off we're having a look at the points and that little foot has been snapped so that would explain the chugging because the timing's off as it's rubbing on the lobe so we're gonna wait till Monday when Burson's opens and um, give them a call and see if we've got some parts. Till then, however, I'm going to move to the rear of the car and I'm going to try and clean this up because it's not looking very nice. It's, it's very solid, but it's just the rubbers have perished around the seal up here and it's not sealing properly in this corner. And I reckon some water's come in. And it's just, it could do with a wire brush and uh, an undercoat and get some poor 15 onto it. Other than that, however, it's pretty good for a car that's been off the road since 1975. Interior is beautiful. Look at these seats. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. The doors don't really seal as we want. That's a new windscreen that the, the seller provided. We've got some seals for it too. But look at this, you know, this is gorgeous. But other than that, you know, it's, um, whilst we didn't fix anything today, we did diagnose some issues. And um, that is, you know, that's a benefit. There you go, some old registration stickers. 1974 there, 1973. The original, cell, uh, the original owner passed in 1975, and it was parked in the garage in Caulfield since then. So, it needs work, but it's a really good platform for something very, very nice and presentable. So, uh, chuck us a like and a, a subscription, and you can follow along with the project as it unfolds. The intention is to get it back on the road by its 70th birthday, which is next year. So, 
I may end up eating those words. But let's see. I don't think so. We know it runs and drives. And it, it runs very nicely. We just need to get those points sorted. And whatever else might come up. Cheers. Thanks very much. And I um, hope you enjoy the unfolding videos to come. Also, if anybody knows where I can get an intact kit for the fuel uh, for the the tool tray here in the boot i'd be very appreciative many thanks